The youth and media team spent July 25th and 26th in New York visiting the LAMP camp. The LAMP, the Learning About Multimedia Project, is a non-profit organization that works to reform and improve media and media literacy. On our first day at LAMP camp, we met with a group of students in their second week of camp. They had spent the first week engaged in advertising and were beginning their journey into the realm of news and news reporting. Our workshop, therefore, focused on news and the role of perspective. We aim to demonstrate to the students the numerous perspectives present in any given situation. To do this, we focused on a particular case study, the Vancouver Riot Kiss, and explored its presentation through various forms of media. We began by splitting the students into small groups and gave each a variation on the famous photograph. We gave the students several minutes to come up with a story behind the image, to figure out who the protagonist is and where and what he was doing. After developing these stories, students presented them to the entire class. The breadth of the stories was immediately evident. Each group told a story entirely different from the others. At that point, we showed the students the original image, revealing to them they had each only a portion of the original photograph. We introduced the story of the Vancouver Riot Kiss to the students, who were quite intrigued by its central features. They described the image as romantic and weird. They didn't understand why this couple would be kissing in such a public space. We introduced the next activity by drawing on the students' comments, mentioning that various news stories also covered the story, intrigued by the kissing couple. First, we showed them a video from the Young Turks Network. The reporters in this video spent little time discussing the riot itself, instead focusing primarily on the romance of the kiss. This narrative was much in line with the narrative the kids came up with after seeing the entire photograph, and many students were interested in knowing what had happened. We then showed them a video taken by a Canadian bystander, a man who stood on the roof of a building overlooking the riot. This video focused almost exclusively on the violence of the riot, showing fans running through the streets much to the chagrin of the tear-gassing police. In a small part of the video, the kissing couple could be seen pushed to the ground by the police, noticeably upset by the violence. The story told in this video, though based on the same event and same characters, is far from romantic, reflecting the perspective of the bystander. The kids were realizing that the story they had been told earlier had not been complete. We then gave each group two different articles which told slightly different stories. We asked the students to describe the differences between the two and to consider what additional perspectives might not have been told. In this latter discussion, the students mentioned that the kissing couple's perspective was missing. We then showed them a portion of an interview given by the kissing couple several days after the event. The kids talked with us about the importance of perspective reinforcing the argument that different stories can be told about the same event, each story a reflection of the teller's point of view. They were interested to hear the police officer's account of the story and disappointed that, besides a few sentences in the newspaper article, there was no additional material to tell their story. All in all, it was a very engaging and inspiring day, and the youth and media team had a great visit to New York.